I think you're right about most things you say, except Peyton Manning. You are so brutally wrong about that. You don't belong on radio or TV or in this town. What you say about Peyton Manning coming this year, coming back this year? That he shouldn't. That he wouldn't be coming back. That he shouldn't be coming back. That he, you think he can't play anymore? Am I, I paraphrasing? I, I, think, I think the last six weeks of the season are more indicative of where Peyton Manning is than the first ten weeks of the season. So will there be games where we see the Peyton of old? In, in, in spurts, but judging the entire 16 game season, it will be much more linked to the last six games of last season than the first 10 games. Well, here's a question for and, both and of and you. We, we'll, we'll talk about that in yeah. January. Yeah. We'll see who's right. Well, I'll ask you a question. Are, are you more interested in, I mean, are you more about the known or the unknown? I'm more about the known and the fact that Father Time is undefeated and you don't get better when you get older, you get worse. You get oh, I don't slower. know. Barry Bonds got better as he got older. Yeah, it was pharmaceutical <laughs> help. You, you, you get slower. You get uh, more injury prone. So the, the thigh injury, while you could say in year six of your career was just a fluke, in year 15 and beyond, this is what we expect. Weird things crop up that you can't recover from because you're past the normal age of a football player, and you cannot do the things you used to do just a couple of years ago. R Roger Clemens got better. Oh, more good. pharmaceutical okay. health. Okay, <laughs> Let, let's say he's 75% uh, of what he was. Is that better or worse than the other guy not having any clue whatsoever? So would you prefer that Peyton had gone away and Brock Osweiler and you have the unknown? John Elway went away, Brian Greasy came along, they were awful. I'm willing to except the unknown when the known leaves us short of a Super Bowl. The goal is not to win AFC West titles or AFC Conference titles, it's to win the Super Bowl title. So if you're going to operate under that standard and what we know from the last several seasons and particularly the last six weeks of last season, that makes me feel very comfortable in saying it is now time to move past this and start going into an unknown, but that could potentially take us to the Super Bowl because we know this one cannot. Except, he says, the Broncos should sign Eli Manning. How do you feel about that? I haven't heard you address that. Uh, He's going to be a free agent. Wow. Uh, so <laughs> there will be a new record for interceptions in the season done by a Broncos quarterback. Wow. If Eli Manning becomes a quarterback. Wow. You know what? You sound like a former New England Patriot. <laughs> no, hey, no. This, I, 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 the, the track record of Eli over the last couple seasons is also pretty clear. Yeah. Can you can you turn things around? Can you hit a hot streak? Was Rich Gannon a Super Bowl winning quarterback or Super Bowl type quarterback early in his career? He wasn't. He got better as he went along. But he never developed great arm strength. He never became a downhill <coughs> downfield thrower. So your shortcomings, while you can kind of mitigate them in certain circumstances, they're always going to be your shortcomings. And again, Father Time is undefeated when speaking specifically about Peyton. And again, I think the last six weeks of last season are going to be a repeat constantly throughout this season. Mm. Well, Peyton and Eli, uh, how about Philip Rivers? He's going to be a free agent. Uh, I, I, he's one guy who had a couple of interception prone seasons who seemed to get it back again in spurts last season. A, I like a veteran quarterback. I like what a veteran quarterback brings. I like the fiery competitive nature, Philip Rivers, which Bronco fans would love to have him on this team instead of on the other side where they hated him. Um, but if he became a Bronco, it, I, I, it wouldn't hurt my feelings one bit. That segment presented by the Celtic Tavern where you can bet daily on off-track horse and dog racing. So watch live and bet daily and sip from a selection of more than 350 whiskeys. And I've, have, done, I've done that one room? day. How do they have room in the place for 350 whiskeys? Uh, you should it, go downstairs. Uh, Noel, the co-owner of it, came back with some last week and was going, <laughs> he's blowing, blowing the, the dust, dust off. off. <laughs> Celtic is uh, located two blocks west of Coors Field on Blake Street. It's the Celtic Tavern.